Welcome back to the Guards of Gaming channel. Today we're playing New Wall in her updated Warrior Nun build for Smite Arena. So for today's build, what we're going to do is we're going to use Chronos Pendant, Sprata Tehuti, and then we're going to upgrade it to Calamitous Rada Tehuti, uh, Spear Desolation, Staff of Meriden, uh, Spear of the Magus, and Divine Ruin. I think that this build is going to work out beautifully for New Wall because we're going to get some ridiculously high flat pen, some good percentage pen, and some nice damage with that Rod of Tehuti upgraded to Calamitous Rod of Tehuti. But hey man, is this build going to work for us? I don't know, but we're about to find out. Let's get into it. So here we go with New Wall, but if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and turn on the notifications. We tend to put out videos every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but sometimes we throw videos throughout the week or stream throughout the week, so make sure you have those notifications turned on so you get notified that we do. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget we have over 450 videos just like this one, our YouTube video library. I put a link to that and a link to our streaming library in the description of any of our videos and our website, GarzaGaming.com. And you're tired of playing with all these random people, man. Come join us in our Discord. We have awesome people from all around the world playing daily in our Discord. I also put an invite to that in the description of each of our videos and our website garzagaming.com and don't forget we're now live on twitch and facebook gaming under garza gaming channel all right so here we go with our new update to our warrior nun new wah for season nine and i like starting with that belt of frenzy because it's going to give her some really nice added uh damage early game right now with this build with, I, if I wouldn't have touched anything with the, our previous uh, Warrior Nun build, we would have ended up doing a lot more damage for the simple fact that we got more pen added to a lot of the items that we normally use with this build, right? But what I ended up doing is actually taking out the Polynomicon and replacing it with a Calamitous Rod of Tehuti and actually move the Rod of Tehuti very early in the build to see if we can take advantage of that extra damage that it does, right? So we're going to see if that's going to work out for us. Now today we are in a full pug group. That's right. We have no subscribers with us. It's all randos. So hopefully this ain't too bad. <laughs> Usually those give me a headache, but you know, it is what it is. Unfortunately, uh, I was going to be in with one of our subscribers, but he logged out because the servers are acting like garbage. And he ended up getting a 10 minute deserter penalty, which was not even his fault. But it is what it is. How did he already get his ult that quick? That's insane. That's right. It didn't help him none. Alright, at least we got him. Dude, they got so many freaking minions over here. There we got my revenge against him. Try to help him. Alright, we saved him. And this is a crazy, crazy <laughs> uh, game because they have two hard uh, gods to get against like Thulu and Atlas. That is a pain in the butt combo let me tell you Drive them from this land. I shall show you true power rise my holy army yeah good there Rampage! 
Alright, good deal, good deal. Drive them from this land. As silent as the night. To me, my allies, I shall shroud us. All right, all right. All right. Ultimate is down. On my way. Then our minions out. Guy, yield. Now, because that Zeus trying to roll up on us. Nice, nice. Nice. Holy army. Let's go. Let's get it. You go to care of the Thulu. Take care of the Apollo. Here the Zeus. An ally has been slain. The light shall always rise. To me, my ally, I shall drive them from this land. You have slain an enemy. As silent as the night. That's too bad. I'll attack the fire giant. Rise, my holy army. All right, let's go. Man, that was a thousand damage for that combo. That was nasty, son. <laughs> that was nasty. All right, good deal. Full build. Let's go. To me, my allies, I shall shroud us. Let's go. Shut down. An enemy. As silent as the night. That's it. Lights out, baby. Lights out. I was waiting for him to come up. <laughs> I was waiting for him to come up. Oh, man. Good. That was a good job. That's, for a pug group, that was really good. I got to give them props. That was probably one of the better uh, pugs I've had all week. That's, that was a good group. Good group. Let's see how we did, man. Dude, Nuwaj is just so freaking powerful. And I couldn't get really close. on. I could have done a lot more damage, but it was really hard to get in on them because they freaking stun you with that Atlas and then that a Thulu mix, but we came out 8, 2, and 17, 47,000 player damage, 23,000 minion damage, in all a very, very solid run with New Wall, with a pug group, man, and they had a Thulu and an Atlas and a freaking Zeus, and we still was able to uh, pull it off, so that was amazing, big, big um, applause to our group, man. So we came out with 755 magic item power, 12 lives, so 45% flat pin, 20% percentage pin, and full cooldown reduction. And don't forget, we had the passive of the Calamitous Rod of Tehuti. And, I mean, it was really hard to get in on these gods. So to do that much damage without really being able to get too close to them is freaking amazing. But, hey, man, that is our Warrior Nun update for Season 9 for New Wall. Hey, man, are you playing New Wall Season 9? If so, put your bill in the comments down below. I'd love to see what you're rolling with, right? And, again, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. I'm Dark Garza, your OG on the GC. 
See you next time.